Hey, what's up guys? It's Spike with Spike Reviews here at Megas Minicon, first annual Megas Minicon yeah. with the legend Elise Bowman. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys! First, first of all, thank you so much for coming oh, and of course. just being awesome all around. I hope you had fun today. Oh, it was so much fun. It was a great convention today, I thought. I agree. I loved it. I, I, I really like the how like the venue wasn't too big, too small, but so yeah. it was like just perfect and intimate for fans. So I, that's really what awesome. I was gonna say. It was kind of like intimate and we got to have nice long conversations. I thought it was really great. Yeah, because sometimes conventions can be really hectic and you kinda get a boom boom boom. Yeah, a little too much. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. Great. Uh, what is your favorite aspect of being a voice actor? Oh, I think it's so much fun. It's, it's something I never thought I'd be doing. I majored in accounting, so I didn't expect to be a voice actor. It's quite a shift, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one time somebody was like, did you just go down the alphabet? Accounting didn't work out, acting was next. Like, yeah. Um, so I think it's fun, especially with the character acting, to explore different things. And especially, so I do, do a lot of younger voices, like Pan. Um, and when I was younger, I got made fun of because I always had I spoke in a higher register like I I had a high voice mm -hmm. and people made fun of me and so it's funny to me now that I who's laughing now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's kind of interesting that now that's my job that I do younger voices mm -hmm. and kind of get paid to do it so funny how that works out it is yeah. funny how it works out yeah. so I, I love voice acting it I think it's so much fun it looks like a very fun profession to be honest mm -hmm. you go in there and just be whoever you want. Yeah. You never know what's going to come next, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really fun. I love it. What is the most interesting item you've received at a convention? Because I know you probably received a wide variety of things working at a convention circuit. Yeah, gosh, interesting. I think just, um, I haven't received anything like crazy. Just the artwork that I've gotten and the gifts. I think are so meaningful because I I just started doing conventions about a year ago, so oh, I'm really? still kind of new to this. I mean, I did like one or two a long time ago, yeah. but um, I, I think it's still like surprising and delightful to me that people take the time to do artwork and to put together character images. I have one character poster with, gosh, like I, practically every Dragon Ball character, mm -hmm. and I've got um, just. I don't know, wonderful, amazing things that people took their time and stayed up late to give to us. So I I love that. Yeah, people really like are, are fond of characters. They get really attached to characters because uh, it either reminds them of them or they find comfort within the character. Like, for example, Goshen, she finds comfort in uh, Pan I love a lot. Goshen. Yeah, shout out to Goshen. Shout out to Goshen. And uh, yeah, so people just, they can relate to certain characters pretty much. So. Well, and I think that's been interesting for me since I haven't been doing conventions a lot. And so I'm just hearing those stories. And I think sometimes as an actor, you go in the booth and you don't know how much people are connecting. And so hearing the stories, that's really been my favorite part, is to hear the stories like, oh, I've heard some amazing stories where people were going through a hard time or even going through a special time and they tell me how they've connected with the character. and. So those are my favorite things to hear. Yeah, like for me, for example, after a really long day or something strenuous, I'll pop in some Dragon Ball and it just kind of whirled off. Just Calm. Dragon Ball on and it helps a lot. Yeah. So, yeah it really yeah. has an impact on people. So That's really cool. It's cool to hear. If you could play a character in any sci-fi world, be it a comic <laughs> book or a Marvel movie or etc., who would you be and why? Oh gosh. Okay, so it'd have to be an action character because mm -hmm. I grew, grew up playing sports. I had done Taekwondo recently. That's awesome. Oh, I don't know if I could pick a character. So it'd be a Marvel character. I don't know which one, but I would want... Something action-based. Something action-based, something, yeah, like a Marvel character in a recent... Man, that's a good question. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> get back <laughs> yeah. to you. We'll get back to you guys. Right now. <laughs> Stay tuned. Why do you think Dragon Ball has been so successful? Like, it's been decades now, and it's still going strong. New content is constantly, constantly being made. Generations of fans alike yeah. can relate to the, to the show. What do you think drives its success? You know, that, that's actually another good question because you do wonder like why some shows just connect with people and they last for so long. I mean, Dragon Ball and Z and GT and, and all the way to Super. Yeah. I, I don't know. What do you think? 
I think uh, someone I asked someone else the, the same question and their, their answer was really interesting because I didn't think about it this way. But um, let's say like me for example, I watched my first Dragon Ball movie in the early 90s and now I have a nine-year-old son and I took him to see the latest movie in January. So it's something that you can bond even through that big of a generational gap, uh, you can find common ground and bond. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like the generations can bond. That's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to, to me, I think that's what drives a lot of the success too. Yeah. So it's kind of like a nostalgia thing too. So. Yeah, which other shows, you know, could have done the same thing, but you're right, there really is something special about yeah. the Dragon Ball franchise. Mm -hmm. It really hits home yeah. for some reason, but it, it, it's awesome to see new content being made still. So. It is. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to hit you with some rapid fire questions. Just Gosh. keep you on your toes a little bit. Okay. 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 Here we go. Favorite color? Red. Favorite animal? Dog. Favorite food? Mexican and steak. It's good. <laughs> Best anime of all time. <laughs> Dragon Ball PT. <laughs> <laughs> you guys knew that was coming. You guys didn't know that was coming. Uh, does pineapple belong on pizza? No. No? That's the general consensus today? No. We no. just had pizza yesterday. I did not have a piece with pineapple on it. <laughs> It'd be like half and half. I don't no, want to No, yes, that's that for you guys. Okay, uh, summer or winter? Summer. Summer? I have to agree. Mm -hmm. It also like... Good thing because I live in Texas and so it's... <laughs> Yeah, summer summers can be brutal. Yes. So like, for example, this summer, like I'm usually a summer person, uh -huh. but this summer my AC and my car broke, Ooh. so it was brutal, so I could not wait for hoodie weather. So this is like the only time I'm oh, tolerating. Oh, so now you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually a summer person, so yeah. yeah. Alright, well thank you, I won't take any more of your time. Oh, thank no, you once again fantastic. for being coming to Mega's Minicon. It was yeah. a pleasure meeting you. It was Thanks a pleasure, yeah, I appreciate it. High awesome. five. Thank, thank you guys. Bye.